All right. I think maybe I'm finally live. <laughs> maybe you, maybe those of you out there in the chat can tell me for sure, because uh, technology is a bit of a bear in it. Um, goodness, I've changed so much about my streaming setup these past few times I've done this that like uh, I'm I'm very very much uh, st still trying to figure out. Um, if all the things are connected properly. Oh, and I look a mess. The, 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 the one thing I didn't think of before I got on camera here. Anyway, um, hello. Uh, hi there, Dizzy. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, I definitely came at this uh, very, very late in the game. So for those of you who are out there watching, uh, please chime off in the chat here. Um, so, purposes of this live stream um i have a piece to choreograph for uh my live stream classes that are coming up in a couple weeks uh week and a half actually um the link is uh down in the description of this video um and i figured it might be uh interesting to share with you all the process by which uh i choreograph stuff and i come up with stuff so we're basically going to go through a, um, a multi-step process here in that um, uh, we're going to select some music. Hi there, Jack. Welcome. Welcome. Um, so uh, step one, choreograph, uh, select music. Step two, step two uh, choreograph to the music. So as I'm doing this on a live stream, I'm hoping that some of you out there can help me out uh, with these pieces. Um, so I'm going to be taking your suggestions in terms of what music I can use for, um, for my, uh, for my choreography and also suggestions as to what poi tricks I can add into it as well. And we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, so step one is, uh, I need some help. Uh, figuring out what music to do this choreography to. So, um, as you may or may not have seen, um, <laughs> Nat Spins just uh, sent me a message saying that, uh, I think Nat, saying that uh, they can they, they can see the live stream just fine. So I guess there's a bit of a delay between what I'm saying and uh, where it's it uh, how it's being received by uh, by folks out there, which is fine. But um, yeah, so I need music to choreograph to. Um, so here's the rules for this. Uh, number one, um, it needs to. I need to be able to pull like a 30 second snippet out of it that is uh, going to work functionally for choreography. So like having uh, some dynamic shifts in there going from like a verse to a chorus would be great. Number two, this is the big one. It has to be in the Instagram media library. I have to be able to find it in there and the sample of it that they have in the Instagram music library um, has to be usable um, to be able to choreograph to. There, there's plenty of there's plenty of really popular songs in there that the particular snippet that they give you access to um, really isn't any good for choreo for choreographing, and I want the I want the the default sample to um, uh, to to be something that I can I can choreograph to. Um, Jack Lucas has a suggestion: "Back in Love" by Leisure, Ligurie. <laughs> I was spinning to it last night. Okay, let me let me give it a look see. So, uh, if anybody's curious what my process is for this, um, usually I'll like bring up the song on my iPad and I will uh, do a screen recording uh, while I fake shooting a video of it. Angel Zahn, hi Drex, tuning in from Oregon. Hi there, Angel. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I'm taking uh, song suggestions to choreograph to right now. Um, yeah, I found a tutorial for doing that a while back and, um, yeah, it, uh, it has 
worked for me so far, but I, I wonder, it creates a problem in the editing phase, and maybe, uh, maybe one of these days I'll find out an easier way to, uh, to make those pieces match up. But as it stands right now, I have not gotten there just yet. So, back in love. Back in love. It is not the first thing to pop up. It does not appear to be in the Instagram media library. I'm sorry, that means I cannot use it because if it's not in the Instagram media library, that means that Instagram will mute my video if I try to post it and nobody wants that. Uh, thank you for the suggestion though. I did actually, uh, one of my students for my last round of classes did actually um, suggest a song that I can look up right quick here. Ba -ba -bum. Lose Control by Teddy Swims. Let me look that up. Cool. That that popped up pretty easily. Let's let's hear what it sounds like. Something's got a hold on me lately. Oh, that's nice and soulful. I don't know myself anymore. Feels like the walls are all closing in and the devil's knocking at my door. Whoa, out of my mind, how many times did I tell you I'm no good at being alone? Yeah, it's taking a toll on me, trying my best. I quite like that one. Um, that right now is my top choice until somebody gives me a better suggestion, but uh, I quite like the soulfulness of that one. Um, that, that's already got some of my creative gears turning there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, real quickly, uh, so there's a whole process that goes into this. I'll, I'll, I'll show you all. So um, the, this, I got this from a tutorial back in the day. So basically I suggest the song, hit done, and then I set the timer because I need a count in. I start a screen recording. Feels like the walls are all closing in and the Set timer and hit record. Something's got a hold on me lately. No, I don't know myself anymore. All right, so I save this as a draft so I can come back and uh, and then I stop the screen recording. I go back into my photos here and I find the recording I just did and I edit it to the edge of when the countdown starts and when the music ends. So now I have just that to work with. Cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Uh, oh, and it seems we have a bunch of other suggestions out there now too. Um, real quickly, there was one more suggestion from uh, one of my um, uh, one of my students from the last rounds that I want to listen to right quick and see how I feel about it. Um, ba -ba -bum. Now or never by metric. I do like me some metric.
Okay, let's hear what it sounds like. Oh, I do know this song. I don't think it quit. Mm. I like it, but maybe... F I'm not feeling that particularly today. Maybe, maybe, maybe put that one in my back pocket um, for a later piece of choreography. I do like the song. I think, so the, the choreography is going to be, t uh, the one trick that I know I have to put in there is the poi flowers that I was teaching in my tutorial last Monday. Um, and I think that this is just going to be too fast. Um, I th like the, uh, the slower soulful song I think is going to work better for the flowers. I think that this is just too fast, unfortunately. Let me see what other suggestions people are throwing out there. Loud Pipes by Ratatat Tat. Let's hear it. Is this an instrumental? Oh, hello! That's That suggestion was from Memrez. Dizzy Kit is suggesting Same Old Blues by Fantagram. Cool. Patrick is saying hello all together. Hello there, Patrick. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, I dig the vibe, but I feel like I need something that's got a, that, that has more in the way of dynamics to it to choreograph to, because it kind of just has the same vibe the entire way through. And it makes it difficult to like, because I want to have dynamic shifts to, to choreograph around. I do like the vibe overall, though. Um, let me try same old blues here. Here we go. I keep on having Ooh. this dream where I'm stuck in a hole and I can't get out the gate. This already feels scandalous. There's always something that's pulling me down, down, down. This is nothing new. This is the same old blue. And this is nothing new. I like it. It's faster than the metric song, unfortunately. It's too fast for what I want to do, but thank you. It's a really good suggestion. I, 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 do, I do like it. I'm discovering all kinds of awesome music here. Thank you all. Um, Yell Fire by Michael Franti. Oh, Johan Hellstrand says, yep. Welcome, Johan. Okay, let's hear this one. Cool. So the tempo's right. Um, it's a good vibe. That would definitely work. I'm, I'm so I'm torn between Teddy Swims and uh, Michael Franti there. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. 
yell fire or uh, or lose control. The 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 I'm 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 stuck between those two. I like them both for for very different reasons. Um, I didn't realize I was getting off camera there. Sorry. <laughs> um, Man, so Yell Fire kind of feels, it, it's definitely, uh, okay, so I personally am feeling lose control more, but I feel like Yell Fire kind of plays to the audience more. Mm. Is it what feels good to me or is it, uh, uh, Johan says, hi, by the way, Mamra's here, swapped accounts so, to PC so I can practice with you, longtime fan from Sweden, yay. 18 years in the business. That is a long time. That is longer than me. And instrumental stuff has always been my go-to. Yeah, instrumental stuff is really... So, instrumental stuff is great for stage pieces, but if I'm just doing a 20-second snip or a 30-second snippet of choreo that is going to be on Instagram and maybe TikTok, then um, it, it is... Uh, it's, it, it, I, I personally prefer... Um, I, I, I prefer stuff with lyrics that has very clear choruses and, uh, and, and verses, but that's just me. I don't know. Um, all right, let me, let me listen to them both one more time here. And if you, if you have a strong proclivity towards one of these songs, drop it in the chat and let me know. So once again, this is Yellfire. Versus Something's got a hold on me lately Though I don't know myself anymore Feels like the walls are all closing in And the devil's knocking at my door Whoa, out of my mind How many times did I tell you I'm no good at being alone. Yeah, it's taking a toll on me. Trying my best to Yeah, I'm really feeling Teddy Swims. Like uh I'm I'm I can just already see in, in my head uh ways that I can explore the dynamics in that in that song. And the the thing I really, really like about it is the beat kind of swings and there's so much space in it that I can see dropping in and like doing some double time stuff and then slowing down to half time and I think both of them will work. So I th I think it's Teddy Swims, yeah. Amanda Kengeter says the second one. Johan says Mr. Swims is definitely more you. I agree. Uh, the Veracity Report, somehow I can just visualize you flow dancing to Teddy Swims. Yeah, I can too. That's just it. Like as I'm listening to it, I'm just like, I can already see things in my head here. Cool. So we're gonna say that it is Teddy Sw that it is uh, Teddy swims and lose control. Um, cool. So our next order of business. I need you. <laughs> Dizzy kid also agrees it swims. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, swims is the winner here. All right. So our next order of business here is I need some poi tricks to throw into this combo here. So already I know that this combo needs to include um, those together opposites flowers that I was showing off in the tutorial that I uploaded last Monday. So this is gonna be in there for sure. So I would love your suggestions for at least, let's say three more uh, three more poi tricks. These have to be like beginner or beginner intermediate level tricks. Uh, that I'll include in the combo. So, what other tricks would you like to see in the combo? Fire off in the, fire off in the chat and let me know your suggestions. I will, um, I will somewhat uh, embarrassingly admit that uh, I, I, I did actually like come up with a couple ideas earlier this afternoon when I was outside flowing 
that I might just try and, and run with the uh, with the music as it is. But uh, I also want to leave this open to suggestions. So. Again, three, uh, three, three beginner or beginner intermediate level poi tricks that I can throw in here um, to add to the combo. Preferably things that I've already done tutorials on because uh, I can then just uh, send out an email to everybody who's taking the class and uh, uh, basically give them uh, you know, some prerequisites like go, go watch these tutorials before you come in on the first day and that'll make life easy. So, um, yeah, also, in case you're joining us late, the whole point of this is um, I'm writing uh, some Poi choreography for the live stream Poi dance class that I'm starting up a week from Tuesday. Um, there is a link to register for that down in the description of this video. And, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it uh, should be a good time. It'll be, it'll be four weeks long. And um, we'll cover both, we'll, we'll have like uh, a day where we cover just the tricks themselves, but also like transitions between them and how to add dance moves to them as well. So um, yeah, if, if, uh, if you like what you see tonight, consider signing up. So Johan says, I want to suggest crossers, but you said in your hardest tricks video that it was a tough one. Yeah, yeah. oh, uh, Amanda says, still new and learning trick names, but what about corkscrews? I heart you, Amanda. Um, ironically enough, the stuff I was playing with earlier, I was throwing uh, a corkscrew in there, which um, it makes sense to me how to throw a corkscrew in there. We'll see if it makes sense to uh, we'll see if it makes sense to my students. But uh, cool, I'm going to throw that one in my back pocket. Thanks for uh, thanks for helping me out there. Um, so uh, you said in your hardest tricks video that it was a tough one, says Johan. Yeah. Um, I would put crossers really squarely into intermediate territory because um, they require a lot of work learning how to keep the poise spinning in uh, what I call a uh, reduced mobility space. Um, a, a reduced mobility space is basically, uh, it's like either behind the back or crossers. It's, it's a place where like you have reduced mobility for your hands and, and wrists. And I personally think that it's one of those things that you have to acquire in order to get into intermediate level poi spinning to be able to control the poi um, uh, in reduced uh, mobility spaces like that. So yeah, I think, I think crossers is going to be a little too hard for this one. The Veracity Report says, I don't know what it's called, but you do a move where you freeze the poi mid-spin and reverse direction, which is always pretty awesome. Uh, I'm guessing you're referring to just stalls in general. Um, here, I can... Uh, so, <clears throat> suggestions we have thus far are corkscrews. And um, so, fun fact, I actually like taking... So, th this, this place in uh, the Together Opposites Flowers, I love actually taking that middle spot right there and using that as a transition to plane break into corkscrews. Um, that might be a little mean to, to give to my students. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, I like that suggestion. Um, the other one is crossers. And yeah, I, th I think that this one's just gonna be too hard to, to give to my students, unfortunately. Because the other thing is, is like learning crossers, that takes several weeks worth of work. That's not something that you can learn the same day you're introduced to it. Um, and then, bum, bum, bum. Our other option was, oh yeah, so um, I think you're referring to stalls like these, or it could be up stalls bottom stalls, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. You can chime off in the chat. Let me know if I'm warm here and this is what you're referring to. But I do tend to do all kinds of things with those like uh, plane breaking and the like. So that, 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 might be, that might be what you're talking about there. Let me see. Um, yes, that's what I remember you calling it a few weeks ago. It was stalls. Cool, cool. Yeah, I could put some stalls in there. That, that, would, uh, that would definitely make sense. Uh, Angel Wittenens. 
It, Wittenen, wait a second, are you Finnish? Let me know in the comments. Wittenen sounds like it could be a Finnish name. Um, how about a series of isolations? I love those. Johan also asked about isolations. Um, unfortunately, isolations, I think, are also squarely in the, in the domain of intermediate tricks. Um, great idea, and goodness only knows, goodness only knows, like, I can think of a great transition between the, uh, the together opposite flower and isolations just right there. That would be so much fun, but I, I think that's going to be asking too much, unfortunately. Ba Bow like that. That would be really fun. That would be super fun. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that might be a bridge too far for people that are are still getting a grasp on a lot of their poi tricks. But yeah, I, I I love that idea. I love that idea. I. I God, it would be fun to do that. The, so this this is this is the challenge that I very frequently have uh, as I'm choreographing these things. Is I'll come up with something that I think is super cool, and then I'll think on it for a second. It's like the people who sign up for my for my poi dance classes are usually more towards the beginner end of the spectrum, and they're never going to be able to do that. So I, I, over time, I've been trying to train myself out of just doing a thing just because I think it looks cool, because it's like, no, the point of this is to help other people learn. So, um, Veracity Report says, the stall seem to sync up nicely with the beat and rhythm of the song you chose. I agree. Tuck turns, they fit in well with stalls. Johan, that's a great suggestion. Okay. Let me write these down. So, we have got, um, ba ba ba, corkscrews. We have got stalls. And we have got tuck turns. I love all these ideas. Uh, Amanda says, I struggle with a three beat weave, but what about something similar? Yeah. I could see a, I could see a th drop in a three beat weave in there. I'm going to keep that in reserve. If like I can't find a good way to get all these others in there, I might swap out for a three beat weave. But um, yeah, uh, I, I I like that idea. Okay, so it's time to actually start choreographing here. Um, I was on, I'm only intending to do this for like uh, f uh, until 8 p.m. Eastern here. So that means I've got about 30 minutes to choreograph the whole piece. So let's let's see how this goes here. So first and foremost, I am going to transfer uh, the song over to my laptop here. There we go. I do love the suggestion of isolations. I just, I, I well, and uh, has to be said, th there's a transition that I absolutely adore between isolations and crossers that I'll show you here in a second. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think they're both, uh, they're both just too far past what, uh, what I can realistically give people showing up for class. <clears throat> okay. So I just transferred the video over to my laptop and I'm going to uh, open up Final Cut and create a new event for this and new project. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that footage. Well, it, it's really just the song, but um, cool. Cool. So um, you can't really see this where you all are at, but basically um, I took the, uh, the screen capture video that I did of um, Instagram playing this song, and I've thrown it into Final Cut here. 
Uh, okay, smart speaker is not so smart. Um, and basically just made eight copies of it in a row so I can just like listen to it back to front over and over and over again. And because uh, I'm gonna have a tough time Hang on just one second. Checking out what you all can see because the camera cannot both simultaneously record for me and play and do the live stream. Um, I have uh, another camera that I've set up directly below it that I'm just gonna use for recording all my stuff. So I have something that I can use for playback. It's not a it's not an elegant solution, but it will work. Cool. All right, so let's give that song a listen and see what comes out of it, shall we? Let me set my other camera recording because again, this is just not the most efficient way of doing this, but it's the way we're doing it today. Let's see how this feels. Something's got a hold on me lately. Oh, I don't know myself. Feels like the walls are all closing in. And the devil's knocking at my door. Oh, oh, oh. How many times did I tell you? Yeah, so clearly that will not be the choreo, but that's, that's just me rattling off the top of my head. <laughs> Yeah, once again, I think we're getting closer, but the, the challenge for me here is going to be to not overshoot things. That's, that's gonna be tough. So, um, there was actually something I played around with earlier this afternoon. I, I, I swear to God, I meant to just do all of this on the live stream, and then some ideas started flowing after that. And the idea is, ba so, let me take what I played around with. Oh, um, love how you couldn't keep yourself from pirouette crossers in the first draft. Yeah. Well, again, sometimes sometimes you overshoot it. Uh, so I do truly feel like sometimes you just like come up with something that is like. 20 or 30 percent past where it needs to be so that you can like start cutting back then I feel like it's easier to like remove elements than it is to add elements sometimes but uh, yeah I, I also just like because you all said isolations and crossers for that first draft I was just like yeah let's just throw them in because so 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 th they, they can see it working in there but yes not not for the final version I don't think that was phenomenal choreo coming off the top of here. Thank you, I've had a bit of practice. I appreciate it. Um, cool, let me, so let me just try the thing that I came up with earlier today and see how well it fits. Something's got a hold on me lately. It's too small a space, unfortunately. 
Uh, let me let me try that again and be a little bit more mindful of the size of the space that I'm working in. Uh, it always kills me. I have so many ideas that just need more room. Uh. Anyhow, let me let me give that one another try. Another try. Oop. I'm gonna wrap them up too. Something's got a hold of me lately. No, I don't know myself. Feels like the walls are all closing in. And the devil's knocking at my door. Oh, oh, oh. Out of my mind, how many times did I tell you? There is definitely something with that side to side movement that I like. Let me try that again. Something's got a hold of me lately, though I don't know myself. Feels like the walls are all closing in, and the devil's knocking at my door. Whoa, how many times? How many times? I quite liked that one. Let me let me do another one just to just to see what happens here. Man, 30 seconds is just so little time to work with, goodness. Tuck turns, that's what I'm missing in there, tuck turns. Okay, where can I stick that in? So, I, it's gonna be such a pain in the butt to teach people, but I really like the plain break into the corkscrews here. And I also really like this whole thing of like doing the tondu and then going around tondu, going around. And I think we can get some good accents off of those stalls, carry things around. And then there's gotta be some dramatic place where I can do some tuck turns and boom, take that to the floor. Uh, sorry, let me check and see how things are going in the, in the chat. Um, that was spectacular, not just changing velocity and accentuate, stopping completely goes really well with the soul of Teddy. I agree, I agree. Uh, oh wow, there's a lot in here. Um, Pendulums are a great addition, thank you. The way you changed speed that time was really right on with the music, thanks. Yeah, there's a bunch of drafts here. I'm gonna go, have to go back through and, and see how I feel about them. Um, okay, so let me, let, me, let, me, let me just try and think my way through this here. So, boom, boom, boom. And I really wanna hit that shift. There's, there's an accent in the music there and then come back and the way I was trying to get over to the side here was this stuff right here and then boom so we go out in take it around out in take it around I think I'm I think I'm trying to jam too many ideas in here, which is hard not to do because I really I want to do all the things, you know. 
But let's say we take it back over and bump, 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 bump. Where am I trying to land there? And I still have the tuck turns to do. I still have the tuck turns to do. So, boom, boom, boom. Take it around. Instead of going to a corkscrew here, I could just make that the moment to go to the tuck turn. Let's see where that happens in the music. See if I can duplicate it. Something's got a hold of me lately. Though I don't know myself anymore. Feels like the water all goes on the end. And the air was not in my door. Oh, out of my mind. How many times did I tell you? Like that. I think it needs a better finish though. Oh. Let's see here. It's going to be very hard for you to fit all that into a 30 second clip. You're not wrong. Wow, really good. That was almost perfect. Yeah, really. This is inspiring in a specific way. Going from three to five minute act to 30 seconds would just be a crap shoot for me. <laughs> Uh, so I, at this point I have a lot of practice coming up with uh, 30 minute or rather uh, 30 second pieces. I try, to, I try to write one of these a week now, so I'm getting a lot better at it, but okay. So let me, let me just block this out right quick. Uh, so I'm going pendulums around, pedal out, pedal in. Corkscrew, corkscrew, take it down. I should do a little stall over to the side and then boom here, uh uh, and boom here, uh uh, and stall, 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 take it around and around and around and around and boom, check, and boom, check, and boom, check and then maybe shotguns to finish it up. Let's see, let's see if that matches up with the music. Okay, so there's, so there's to the left, boom, there's to the right, boom, and I want to think that there's one more to go through there, but there isn't. So at this point, I think it's open, wrap, and call it a day. Let's see, let's see how that lines up. Thank you. 
Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Let me run that a couple more times here just to make sure I got it. Yeah, that's the ticket. I think you were going to the floor too many times in the first drafts. The standing stalls and ending the performance at the floor was spot on and much more climactic. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this was, uh, this is talking about a previous draft of it, I think. Um, Sweet, this is a great combo. The first tuck turns might be a little quick for beginners to grasp visually, but overall there's a lot to take from this. I agree, I agree. Amanda says, the Fosse-esque ending is awesome. Oh my goodness, I... Fosse is an all-time favorite. I, uh... Oh my god, anytime, anytime I catch anybody doing Fosse arms, like, uh, I remember when, like, the, the Wednesday dance came out and, and my, uh, my uh, my niece started doing the like headcock version of it from the Wednesday dance. I was like, I know that, I know that. Um, but yes, thank you. I love uh, <laughs> I love that you caught one of those influences there. Thank you. Um, cool. Let me try and run it one or two more times and see if I get a, uh, see if see if anything else pops out as I'm as I'm trying this out, if there might be, there might be a uh, fun discovery here. Um, you never know when you might find something else. I also just like, I'm going to, I'm going to run this one or two more times and, uh, see if I get uh, a version of it that I like more. And then I might just try to see if I can come up with a version that is slightly simpler than this, just to be on the safe side here for my students. So, let me do this a couple more times here. That wasn't bad. That was pretty sassy. Let me do one more take here, and then let me, and then then I might run through it and just see if I can come up with a slightly simpler version, just to just to be on the safe side. This beginning part, I feel like I can hit these these counts a lot cleaner. There were parts of that that felt on and parts of that that felt off. <sighs> let me do, let me do it just one more time. Let me do it just one more time. Uh, so like, what I'm going for here is I feel like there's boom, boom, something to be found here that I haven't gotten to yet. Off to the side, boom. I need to prepare for that. Boom, boom, coming around and boom. I really like the, the count of where I nailed that that time. Come around, around, take it here, take it around, take it around, then boom, Chick, boom. Is there anything more I can do with that moment? Boom, Chick, boom. 
Boom. Boom. Hmm. Maybe. Let's... All right. Let me run it one more time. that part woof that was a, that was a hot mess there let me try that again That wasn't bad. I think I would, I, I, I think I'm happy with saying that that could be a final take. Now let me, I really like that choreo. Do I really want to mess with that? Do I really want to mess with that? So, come on, Actually, okay, so here's the simplified version. Pendulum once, pendulum twice, corkscrew, corkscrew, stall to the side, boom, boom, pendulum, boom, boom, pendulum, 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 take it around, stall, around, stall, around, stall, open wrap let's see if that fits the music something's got a hold on me lately though i don't know myself That's the simplified version right there. That would work. There's, there's way fewer tempo changes there. Yeah. Cool. In all honesty, as a beginner, the footwork seems more complicated than I could manage. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Johan, relaxing and slowing down for yourself will do a lot with this choreo. A lot of Drex's footwork is mostly flavor that you can by your, modify for yourself. Don't mean to butt in, just lazily armchair poying. No worries. Oh my goodness, I am. All right, so next steps here. I'm gonna go ahead, take a look at the game tape here, make sure I've got what I want. And then I think maybe it'll be time to, uh, uh, to call it a night. And you will see in a second here, I am very sweaty, very sweaty indeed. Okay, so. Here's what we're gonna do. Boom, boom, boom. That was really awesome, Drex. I'm not a low artist, I found, I found you. You be made of your Patreon video, and I find your poi to be so relaxing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so um, 
Amanda, that's good feedback with the footwork. Um, Cause yeah, what I'm doing there is a little pot of beret uh, or a grapevine. And yes, I can absolutely see how that would be a little bit challenging. Been watching your routines for about two years now. Oh, yay. Um, okay, so let me, let, me, let me take a look at the game tape here. And um, maybe I will do one more modification here. Amanda, that is, uh, that, that, that is helpful feedback. Thank you. So check it out. I have another window set up here so you can watch me watch all of this. The good news is, is that I'm just going to get to the end here and evaluate based upon all that. So. That's who it looks like here. So already I can tell I want a lower angle on my arms here. Yep. Oh, gotcha. That's the, that's the second to last one. Mm-hmm. Where's that last take? Find me that last take. Also, why am I not getting sound off of this? Problem for another time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, that's the angle I want in the hands there. Yep. Boom. Take it around once, take it around twice. Fold. Off to the side. Yep, that's the one that I messed up. Let's see that again. Mm hmm. Taking it around. Good. In. Corkscrew one, corkscrew twice. In. Take it to the side. Boom. Around. Side. Boom around, stall, 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 take it around. Yeah. There was a focus shift that should have happened there, Drex. <laughs> okay, so the simplified version. I want a better angle with those arms. One, two, into the corkscrew. Yep, that's good. Boom, taking it over, around once, here, and we go around here, and go, pendulum, pendulum, pendulum. Da, 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 boom. Ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom. Boom and out. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think that the simplified take is is the winner there. Because uh, like just looking at the tempo changes that I'm doing in the previous uh, in the previous draft. Um, yeah, I, I think that's gonna be a challenge for a lot of other people to nail. But yeah, that I think that one's good. Ba Boom. Boom. Yep, there's nothing here that's too fast. Everything's kind of even keel, which is a little disappointing for me because I definitely... Oh! Oh, you all are getting audio from, uh, from the iPhone and I'm not. That's the simplified version right there. Interesting. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, so all, all that time I haven't been able to hear the music with it, but you all have. That, that's wild. I, uh, I missed a step in my setup here, apparently. Anyhow, um, but yeah, I, I think that that second one is the, uh, is, is the one to go with. I think that that's going to be, I think that's going to be a better fit for, uh, for the people that usually take my classes. So I think, uh, yeah, I, I think that that's, that's the template to work from here. 
Not that I don't love the other version of it, and I think I will probably like wind up posting that anyway uh, as a separate video. But uh, yeah. Uh, Amanda said, oh, uh, Johan says, got to pop off the bed. Fantastic to catch your stream for once. Yes, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Amanda says, it's really cool to see the process behind the video. Yay, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you've enjoyed this. Um, yeah, where are we at? Oh, we are, we are already past the hour here. Cool. So, yeah, I think, um, I th I, so... I think I feel okay with doing the footwork in there because all that's happening with it is we're doing we're, we're doing pendulums. Um, yeah, I, th I think I think I'm gonna hold on to the footwork there. I, th I think that that'll be that'll be something for students to reach for there. Um, but I do appreciate your feedback on that one, Amanda. That. Uh, it is good to know that th that that's probably where I'm going to run into some trouble there. But um, yeah, I, I like both versions of this. Thank you all. Thank you all for, for joining me on this uh, trip here. And of course, um, if you would like to uh, take class with me and learn how to do this choreography, if, uh, if, you are, if your interest is sufficiently piqued after watching me put it together, i uh, got the link to it down in the description. Um, the class is, uh, registration is open now. It is uh, available at crowdcast.io uh, slash drexfactorpoi. There's a more specific address for it that's down in the description. And for those of you that tuned in for the live stream tonight, um, and thank you for doing so, uh, because you helped me out in the process of putting it together, um, I would, uh, you, you can get 10% off the price of the class by using the, uh, the code, the promo code livestream at checkout. So yeah, um, yeah, uh, let me know what y'all thought about this process of watching me choreograph here. Um, I, <laughs> uh, this was a little bit of an experiment. I don't usually choreograph to an audience, so, um, there's definitely a little bit of, of some vulnerability in that for me, and uh, I guess I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious how it was to uh, experience this for those of you out there watching. Um, but either way, uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and wind things down. Uh, of course, the really obnoxious part about doing these live streams is that um, there's a delay on the video, and so um, I will try and stop the live stream once I see that, uh, once I see that the uh, video has stopped here. So I think, how do I want to do this? Where is, there we go. Let me just do this right quick so I can see when that pops up in the video. which it's probably going to be a few minutes because that's just how the buffering here works. So I think, hey, that wasn't actually that, that long away. Okay, cool. Cool. That's good to know. Um, sweet. Well, then um, I'm going to go ahead and close things down here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, remember to uh, sign up for the class. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, if you'd like to see me do this again, please, if, please leave me a comment and let me know. This, this was fun for me, albeit a little scary in its own way. And um, yeah, I will hopefully see you all on a future live stream. And I promise next time I'll do a better job of scheduling it out so people get a little bit more notice before I go live here. But um, thank you all so much. Have a good night and uh, enjoy the flow. Peace.